When I was um, in nursing school as an RN, I knew what nurse practitioners were, but I didn't know exactly what they did. So my family has um, a nonprofit in Haiti, and I would go volunteer there regularly. So after I took the NCLEX, the board exam to be an RN, I went to Haiti to volunteer. And there were other um, nurses there, including nurse practitioners. And I got to see them like diagnose and treat children with asthma and scabies and, you know, adults with high blood pressure. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. That's what I want to do. So then that's why I decided to continue my education and become a nurse practitioner. I always wanted to do travel nursing, but I didn't have the chance because I decided to become a nurse practitioner. So I worked in Miami as a full-time NP for three years. And then I was like, oh, this is getting boring. I want to do something different. So I decided to look into becoming a travel NP. And that's when I learned that a travel NP is actually a locum tenens provider, you know, which represents not only NPs, but other providers like physicians and PAs. So um, I've been doing locums for nine years now. So I decided to pick my first assignment um, traveling, which ended up being in Washington State, um, two hours outside of Seattle. So that was like the furthest possible I can go from Miami on a you know landlocked state. <laughs> I always tell the nurse practitioners that it's the ultimate life hack because when you're when you're in a permanent full time job, you're like working so much, you're paid salary, but you're working overtime without being paid. Um, you have more responsibilities because you have to go to meetings. You have, you're like the primary care provider for the patient. So they're constantly contacting you to do paperwork and stuff like that. Um, with locums, it's great because I can just work as little or as, as much as I want. I'm guaranteed to have my holidays off. I can take vacations. I can take sabbaticals. Um, and then if I am working more than 40 hours a week, I am paid overtime for the, that time. And also the hours can be flexible too. If I want to work four, four 10 hour shifts, or if I want to work, you know, five, eight hour shifts, so essentially it's like you're working less but getting paid more because you end up making more per hour than if you worked as a salary, you know, NP. I have been doing local tenants for nine years and I can't imagine, you know, going back to a full-time permanent job ever. So it's nice to be recognized by, you know, a really large organization in the local tenants world, you know, through Barden, because I've not only contributed as working as local tenants NP, but I've tried to mentor other new um, NPs I also try to be active in the community um, with volunteering. And then also I, on the side, I'd like to also help with um, local tenants blog articles. So just talking about my experience and helping other people, you know, get started. Like being a nurse practitioner, we're trained from schooling to, you know, serve patients and see patients holistically. And I think that local tenants allows this in the best possible way because it allows you to have more time with patients allows you to have more time for yourself to make sure that you, you're, you know, taken care of men mentally and physically. And I do think that working with locum tenants, you know, is the, the best, you know, life hack that we have.